Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting episode on the CSGO News channel, guys. And big announcements, my newest partnership with LootBear.com. Now, I actually uploaded a video about this about a month ago, about renting CSGO skins and the future of doing that. That video kind of went semi-viral for my channel, over 50,000 views. And ever since then, the website's made a lot of updates for the future of renting CSGO skins. And it could have an immense future, especially given the latest updates by Valve. I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware of the seven day trade ban. If anything though, that actually helped out the website. Now they have their minimum trades out there. If you want to rent your CSGO skins, the minimum rent time will actually be be seven days so you get your skins for a lot longer guys and there's any plans range on the website if you want to pay five dollars a month up to twenty dollars a month to have access to any CSGO skins in the future and especially given the, the CSGO market right now I'm sure you guys are aware of the slight crash right now and the fluctuation in CSGO skin prices a lot of people selling their CSGO skins don't want to pay for them and again why not just pay a small monthly fee and actually get access to any CSGO skins out there so I'm huge I'm just very very thankful for all of you guys if you do want to rent CSGO skins or at least sign up in the future to maybe do it my link will be down below below and they'll be my sponsor for the next few weeks here. On top of that though, I actually achieved my overall CSGO goal today and I'm still really nervous about it because of course when you rent CSGO skins and there's all that there's always that risk of you know someone trying to hack you, someone trying to steal your skins, I actually achieved my overall goal. I think whenever we first start playing CSGO we have a goal in terms of achieving something and when I actually started playing CSGO skins were on the rise, my overall goal was always to at least one day either have an Op Medusa or an Op Dragon Lord. And today I definitely did that with this video. Huge shout to Loot Bear huge shouts to all of you guys who choose to support my channel any way possible. My referral link will be down below guys. Today, I rented my first ever Op Dragon Lore with LootBear.com. And for those of you guys who don't trust the website quite yet, they are partnering with some big people out there. I was actually really, it was really cool to see my own face on the actual website itself and I, they're also partnering with big people out there like FaZe has as well as Raffle Monster. If you guys don't know Raffle Monster, a high-end trader out there in the scene right now. And the biggest one so far, they're going to be partnering with McSkillet. So if you guys don't trust them, I, I certainly do for the future of them. And they're going to be having some big partners in the future guys some big updates coming their way the biggest update actually announced recently though is the supply side on the website so you guys don't actually you know of course you don't have to buy your own skin buy your rent your own skins on the website you can now actually post your own skins if you guys are a high-end trader or a high-end you have a really high priced inventory out there you can actually send your skins to the website they rent your skins out and they give you monthly cash payments back so you can actually make money doing that that's what my friend Rafa Monster is going to do in the future and so you can actually make money this way you can also rent your CSGO skins but you can also make money renting or having people rent your skins as well. So that was actually just introduced guys and their inventory has been expanding ever increasingly and they're also going to partner guys even with OP skins. So this could be the future of CSGO for all you guys who wonder if they have a big enough inventory to supply all of you. They certainly will sometime very soon in the future. Now on top of that as well I was actually given a level 3 security account if you guys don't know how to actually get your security on the website itself you will have to verify your ID. That's for security for them. Of course if people out there didn't have to verify their identities they could just take the skins and run. This way if you guys just send in a picture of yourself with your ID, you're actually given level two security and that actually grants you access to skins up to $550 in value. Now to get level three though, the website has to trust you. They obviously trust me. Thank you guys. And so I had access up to skins over $2,000 in value. And of course, one of the most expensive ones on the website was my favorite, the Op Dragon Lore. And just like that within seconds, I do have to agree guys, or I have to actually say the website was extremely fast with the trade offers from their inventory to mine was within a few seconds. As you guys can see, I did actually get in game my field tested Op Dragon Lore. I'm still kind of nervous because I do hold it for the next six days or so and again if I do get hacked or something I am liable for those skins although I highly doubt I will get hacked guys I, and again what's great about the seven day trade ban is now that you, when you rent your CSGO skins you cannot trade them away so that's a, that's a large part of scams out there is people actually trading it, uh, trading away their skins with these trade locks you cannot trade them away and so once your seven days is up you trade it back to the website and boom that's you're done and then of course with less than the price of $20 per month you can actually own an op dragon lord like I am going to for the next six days and it's been kind of a, a little dream come true. It's kind of funny how I freak out about an Op Dragon Lore. It's the single most expensive skin I've ever held in my inventory. So for any of you guys who actually want to acquire that, any of you guys who have that that kind of, I guess you could say, that goal of yours in CSGO to own really expensive items uh, for a very, very small price. Uh, for all of you guys who have parents out there who are willing to spend the $5 a month, but you don't want to spend the, the $1,200 to get those items, it's a really great way for all of you guys. And again, very lastly, I just want to thank you guys for taking on this sponsor with such a great, great response in, in, the, in the past as well as hopefully in the future. And if you guys want to support my channel at all, even if you don't want to rent CSGO skins, if you just want to sign up for the future in case you do want to ever ever try to uh, rent your CSGO skins, my link will be down below. So as always guys, huge thanks to all of you. I, I do still hope though in the future we can adapt back, maybe have that seven day trade ban taken back down to hopefully nothing. But again, as of right now, Valve has no response. I will see you guys all tomorrow with a huge episode of CSGO News. I rented an Op Dragon Lord today in CSGO. If you would have asked me, Jake, can you rent CSGO skins three years ago, I would have said no and you probably never will be able to. This could 
would be the future? Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think? Is it the future? Will people actually do this? Will people actually use this? We're going to find out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>